Hello people and welcome to another special edition of the Traveling Weasels Try New Sweets. This time it's me trying the sweets. German trying British sweets. So we've done a lot of those videos. There's an entire playlist dedicated to our challenges and whatnot. Check it out right here. Also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. If you're a new uh, watcher, welcome by the way. Go. Tom basically got some really good English and you might not believe it, but he actually is German. Can you give us some German to prove your Germanness? Guten Tag, mein Name ist Tanba, ich komme aus Niedersachsen, bin mit 18 Jahren nach England äh, umgezogen, deswegen ist mein Englisch so gut und mein Deutsch so schlecht. Your German actually is really bad. But he's really German, I'm British and I want to say these are the snacks I had as a kid, but actually I wasn't really allowed many snacks as a kid. Partly because I was a vegetarian, so I couldn't eat gelatine, but partly because my mum doesn't believe um, that kids should have sugar, which I actually do believe as well because um, Tambo had a lot of sugar as a kid and now all of his teeth are fake, basically. You know I'm going to cut all this out, right? Teeth. No, please don't! <laughs> That's a good point. If you have kids, give them some fruit, they love it. Anyway, so I tried to pick things that I think are typically British. There might be a chance that some of these things are American. I did pick up Skittles and Tambo was like, you know those are American, right? And I, I didn't know. Um, so yeah, let's try them and see what you think and also I, because I want to be in this video. British girl tries British sweets. Let's do it. Okay, first up we have Freddo. Woohoo! Woo Come on, Canon G7X. Zoom in. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so this is a very uh, British snack apparently and I've never had this before in my life. And if you ever want to annoy a British person, just say that the prices of Freddo has gone up. They have gone up, it was so unfair. When I was a kid they were like 5p or something, and now it's 25p. It says on here the price 25p, so... Actually, that one was 24p. Inflation, people. It's a killer for the Freddos. Anyway, so let's have it. Even I had these as a kid, and they're awesome because they're shaped like frogs. Wow. It's a frog. Okay, let's try it. Mm. It smells really good. So it's just plain chocolate, there's nothing in it, no frogs involved, vegetarian. <laughs> it's just uh, shaped like a frog and it's just plain good old dairy milk chocolate, which I think is now American. It anyway. tastes like all the other Cadbury chocolate, so quite nice, I yeah. I love Freddy's. You're British, why are you having some? You're cheating. Mm -hmm. Why am I on the video then? Just to get more views, because you're a girl. Okay, next. Next up we have... Chew it! Something I also never uh, tried. You never had a chew? I never had a chew in my life. I lived in England for like, you know, seven years, so. So you see the, there's a little dinosaur. So they see the little dinosaur here. I don't know what his name is, but when I was a kid, there was an advert and he was on roller skates and he was like, I like to chew it, chew it. Oh I like God. to chew it. If you remember that advert, drop us a comment below because I think Laura's just making this up. Dum, 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 da, da, dum, dum. I know the song though. That's oh my it. god, there's different flavours. Oh wow, so... Strawberry... Strawberry is the original one, says Laura, whispering in my ear. I'm mm. so excited Pointing me in the right direction. Okay, here we go. I like to chew it. Move it. Damn. Yeah, if you don't Ouch. know, that's a move it song. Okay, I don't even know how to open them now. If this was German, there would be some sort of uh, indicator where to open it and how to open it, how to open it the most efficient Britain, way. we don't need to know yeah, that. Britain, we know how yes. to open... Oop, hang on, I got my first. So to give it a little introduction, these here. guys are kind of like chewing gum, but you just chew them and swallow them. God, I so mean, just a sweet, I guess. They are pretty hard Candy. to, pretty hard to undo. Chew it and bin it. All right, so we definitely, at least we know that Can we are, them? we are supposed to chew this. I like the purple ones. Oh God, I haven't had to chew it in years. I never had to chew it in my life. My God, the paper is pretty hard to it's get like off. It's like stuck on. This is actually very British. So this is what it looks like, a Check little, this out. little paper is stuck cube. onto this. I'm just gonna eat with the paper, who cares? It smells nice. It smells like chewing gum. It's like mao arm, right? Mmm. Or oh, taffy. Also, shout out to my younger self, who's making a ca her first cameo. Hey, me! Next up, fudge, Cadbury fudge chocolate bar. That's what it looks like on the inside. So this is basically chocolate with fudge in the middle. It's all right. Better than the Freddo? No. Right answer. I like the Freddo better actually. It was just chocolate, but I'm not really a big fan of fudge, so not great. Fudge. Next, next. Alright, next up, it's Twirly Wordy. Curly Wordy. Okay, next up, it's Curly Wordy. <laughs> you have to keep that first one in. Yeah, I will. I had them before, they're actually quite nice. I do like them. 
They're quite chewy. Uh, it's caramel inside, if I'm correct. Yeah, I think so. It looks like a chocolate pretzel. Here it we go. Smells good. Very chewy, so. It just really gets in your teeth and then yeah. it lives there forever. Mmm. I'll show you that. Uh, uh, uh. And that, I just, that was just stuck in my teeth. Next up, we have flying saucers. <laughs> when okay. I was a kid, they would come in like, um, you'd go to the sweet shop and they would be in a thing and you, you know, you'd, it would come in package and you would just get a shovel and a little baggie. They wouldn't come in a bag. Like, this is from Morrison's. So you so. can eat the whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. I think it's sherbet in, I don't even know. I love these. Mm. Sour. They're really good. Mm, mm. Yeah, but they're pretty good. Wow, I might have another one. Mm. I really like this. I think we have a version of this in Germany. I'm pretty sure I had something like this in Germany before, but yeah. Might not even be Makes pretty. a little sound. I'm sure they are. Alright, next up. Chocolate penguin. P -p Pick up a penguin. No. no. What? Apparently you have to open it on this side, not on that side. Bad um, luck. My grandma always used to bring one of these. <laughs> She used to always bring me one of these when she picked me up from school. And she also, I'd always be like, I'm hungry. And she said, hi, hungry, I'm grandma. Every time. So this is a multi-pack, by the way. I'm just taking one. And one of the, Here it is. The, the, you get, um. What? So it's penguin and you get a little joke on it. Oh, God. Give me a joke. Okay, so the joke is, how do penguins get around? Snowmobile? On a bee. Slash icicle. Ha 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 ha. They're always. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Ew. So it's basically like two biscuits covered in chocolate mm. with like maybe chocolate icing in the middle. If you're from um, Australia or if you've been to Australia or if you know about Tam Tam, Tim Tams, Tam Tims, they're basically exactly the same as Tim Tams, but penguins are better. It just basically tastes like chocolate biscuits. Chocolate cookies if you're from the US or Australia or whatever. Next. So next up we've got a dip dab. This is basically sherbet. A sherbet dip with a, a strawberry lolly and you put the, the lolly in the dip. where well, you lick it and then you put it in. But I'm sure they're called like sherbet dip or something. I think this is a kind of rip off Morrison brand. But it says made in Britain. So what do I do with it? So you get it out. Oh, it's oh. covered in sherbet already. Oh my God, already. look, it's covered it's in lolly. Stuff. So you just, you suck it, you lick it apparently. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Reminds me a little bit of what we had in uh, something we had in the Philippines called Mik Mik. No, it's not like Mik Mik. Let me try. Basically the same thing. It's not. Mm. Like Mik Mik, right? No, that is delicious. Mik Mik is vile. Mik Mik is like powdered milk. This is sherbet, so it's really sour, kind of like sparkly, beautiful, lemony. It's not milk. It is lemony. How dare you? <laughs> Get out it's of here. Anyway, I used to have one and it was um it was similar but it was a sher it was sherbet in a tube. Oh. And you had a little licorice stick and All you over dipped, me, yeah. dipped the licorice. Okay. So it's the same but a, a licorice well, is a little fun to eat. It's a challenge for me. And we also used to get these tubes of um sherbet that you just do this with they're really long ones and if you got when you get a little bit older as a kid in england you'll probably you or probably someone you know will attempt to snort sherbet which is just not a good idea or is it yeah it really hurts no like a line of it oh well, i'm not doing a line of that stuff then you're not really british next up chocolate orange focus Okay, so I was pretty sure this was British, but reading it on here, it says it's made in Ireland, so it might, they might actually be Irish. Whatever, you always, always have these at Christmas. You always get given them, even if you hate them, you always get given a chocolate orange. I love chocolate orange. Comment below if that's a thing or if Loris once again is making stuff up. My uncle always used to give my grandma and my mum and me a chocolate orange for Christmas and my grandma and my, my mum don't like chocolate oranges so I always used to get three. I used to give you one as well. Anyway, part of the fun of the chocolate orange is you get to do that to it. Anyway, it's called a chocolate orange because it's in segments like an orange. It looks like a butthole. <laughs> Great. I, I don't know. Now I really want to try it. <laughs> and now oh it's my segments of oh, orange. Okay. It is quite well made. I mean, this side is plain, but this side is uh, quite well done. Look, it even it looks, looks like, like an orange. Yeah, it looks like an orange. I'm not a fan of orange chocolate usually. Let me just try this. Mm, that's so good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. It's just slightly mm. orangey. 
Not too much. So I don't think I've had chocolate orange for years. So this next one is something I actually would have had as a child, and I did have as a child. This is because it's made with sunflower oil and gluten-free and contains no artificial colours or flavouring. It's Pombas! Aren't they cute? I love Pombas. Here you go. So these are just potato... We call them crisps. We probably call them chips. Oh. I'm pretty sure we have them in Germany as well. No, but they're not the same. Um, not the same. I'm not even sure these are British. I used to eat them all the time. Comment so. below if they are British or where they come from. I have no idea to be honest, but they do taste good. It seems they're to be trying. a thing in Britain, doesn't it, to have ones that are like, like frog shaped or bear shaped. Yeah, you like your animals in England. Penguin. We yeah. love animals. Oh my god, how many pom bears can we fit in your mouth? Four. Three. Four, five. Six. <laughs> Seven, eight, oh. nine, <laughs> oh. ten. Oh. Last but not least, drum roll. Twiglets. Again, pretty sure they're British. Never had them in my life. So you never had twiglets? Never had them. Don't even know what they are. They're kind of like my absolute favourite British thing. Marmite. Oh. I think they're covered in Marmite or something similar. They're covered in Marmite? I can't even... They're like Marmite crisps, but not. They smell like coffee. And they're like black. And someone I know, I can't remember who it was, they um, they got them for their boyfriend or girlfriend, because I have no idea who it was. And they opened them. What do you think? Yeah, they opened them then up. Hmm. They opened them up, emptied all the twiglets, got a bunch of twigs, covered them in Marmite, Put them in and sealed it and <laughs> gave it to the, the person as a, as a present. I'm pretty sure this is Marmite. This doesn't taste good. This tastes like burnt. It's like Marmite. It tastes like it's burnt. I think it must be like whole wheat thick. Not great. Okay, people, we'll end the video here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me if you ever tried any of these. Um, are you British? Were any of these part of your childhood? What um, was part of your childhood? What was part of your childhood if you're not from Britain, you know, wherever you're from, what did you eat, what kind of chocolates, sweets, give us an idea for a video uh, mm. when we're in your country. Um, what was your favourite? I and mean, least favorite. yeah, my, my favorite was actually the chocolate orange, I have mm. to say. Surprising, because I don't usually like orange uh, chocolate, but that was actually quite good. Oh, I like these twiglets. And then, yeah, that was actually my least favorite, the twiglets. Ugh, you no. don't really like them, though. I'm not a fan of mine, but they just look really burnt and taste burnt and just doesn't taste right. They're different, though. They are different. So, yeah, subscribe to this channel if you uh, are new. And we shall see you tomorrow for more fun in England.